Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media, and the results are in for the Monster Cat Best of 2022. And we are here to react to it, to figure out, and just and not figure out, really, we're nothing figured out. I guess we're, we're learning for the first time. I have stayed off of socials for a little bit, especially on the EDM side, uh, to not be spoiled by uh, the songs here um, about what is and isn't in the best of 2022. So this is a genuine uh, look at it. There's only two songs I know, and they're like number 40 and 32 or something like that. There were two silk tracks. I don't know why I got, how I got spoiled by those, but I did. Um, but uh, yeah, so... Let's look at it. Let's look at the list here. I'm, I scrolled all the way down to the Monster Cat catalog just to see exactly what we're going to be looking at here. But uh, we'll go up slowly and see what our, our list is going to be. Okay, number 40 is Try Me by Akola. Okay, that was the one I saw. That was the one I saw. Uh, and then 39 is Wonder Years by Zensi and uh, Mr. Hillary. Okay, I'm actually surprised. I'm, I'm not surprised and am surprised that this one made it. Uh, I really like Zensi's... Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I, I might be butchering that, by the way. Zensi? I'm, I'm not sure, but I'm sorry if I butchered that. Uh, I like the part two uh, a lot better of the Destination Heartbreak, I think, but um, still still a good song. Uh, Won't Make a Sound, Arm & Hammer, Nurko, Mika Martin, Micah Martin. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm not a huge Arm & Fam Arm and Hammer track, or, or Arm & Hammer fan, but uh, I, I get it. Remedy, Malibu, okay, okay. Okay, again, one that I wasn't fully on board with, but I, uh, okay, ignore them. Dusty Cloud and Cage, yeah, I can see that 100%. Lex Blaze. Um, for sure. That one makes a lot of sense for me. Uh, Do It All Again, Punctual, featuring Jordan Shaw. Yep, another solid one. This one was really quick for me, though, and I I, I don't know. I, it doesn't feel 20 best of for me, personally, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Stained Glass. Okay, Stained Glass made it on. Cloud Nun, Direct, Fiji, Ouija, and Chase. I'm fascinated to know how much Fiji makes it this year, uh, because I think that it's not gated by artists. It's multiple per artist, so... Uh, Stained Glass makes a 34. Uh, Damage Kuro. Okay, yeah, that one makes lots of sense. Um, and Nimbus. I saw this one. Uh, Cloud Cage and Feather Vane. Way to go. Congratulations. The Nimbus sweep is here. Um, I'm sure in part to the how... This is a fascinating study in, uh, in just being a personality online. I... How do I word this? I I like it, it's a great track, one that I personally like enjoy, but not I think best of for me personally. But just the fact of how um, fun Cloud Cage is on socials and how much he's telling people to go vote for him and and do all this stuff and make memes about it, I think really helped. Um, and so not to discredit the the quality of the song, but I think this is a fascinating like almost case study and and listen, go advertise your stuff, go go do it, talk to people, be in the community. So way to go, Cloud Cage. Uh, Limitless, Slippy, okay, yeah, this one makes a lot of sense, 31, um, that's uh, Find You, Conroe, okay, personally, hot take, Conroe had a really bad year, um, I was not a huge fan of the stuff he put out this year, um, personally, uh, but I think I'm the minority here, and I know a lot of other people really like him, his stuff, um, not a fan of Conroe this year. Uh, good for me, this far down, interesting, 29, I expected this to be at least top 20, um, okay, 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 good for me. Uh, from here, VIP, the Cloud Nine. I voted for this one. Uh, that, that's the oh, those are the first two of ones that I voted for. Uh, so two have got in that I voted for now, uh, and that's a, a absolutely solid track. And so, Agonize, Fool, and Extra Terra. Okay, uh, Guiding Light, Rogue. That's three of my votes are now in at number twenty six. Um, Space Boy, Ramus is B, Faint and Vila. Uh, I'm not shocked this one's here. I'm I was sure this was a pretty solid track. So. Uh, Pew Pew slushing Tokyo Machine. That's another one that I was pretty certain was going to make it, even though I didn't think the song was great. Just had a lot of star power here with Slushy and Tokyo Machine. Actually, one of Slushy's better songs this year, I would say. Uh, just want to love Conroe. Okay, another Conroe track. Um, I wonder if uh, what Find You is going to. Oh no, that one's thirty. What was the other one? I can't remember what it is, but I wonder if another one's going to be higher from Conroe. But okay, another Conroe one. Oblivion, Rival, Fairland, and Philip Strand, one that I would potentially voted for. I think that was my like my top 20 personally, so I can see Oblivion making it for sure. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got uh, The Power by Stonebank. Yep. Okay, solid. Not as best. Toxic Boss Fight's only 20. Okay, interesting. I thought that would have been higher. To boss Fight always has the massive fan following, and so uh, it always is normally pretty high. Uh, Out of the Dark 19, also lower than I expected it to be, or technically higher than I expected it to be. Uh, it's it's not as not as high up in the list as I expected. I thought that was going to be top 10 for sure. Uh, I wonder if his, I wonder if the other tracks are going to make it. Um, hmm. 
Rainbow Rave Parade, yep, Chime, I'm, I was sure that one's going to be on here. Uh, Throne, Mazer, and uh, Kavla, Lewis, is that how you say it? Uh, not a huge fan of this track, personally. I thought it was one of Mazer's weaker ones, uh, but uh, I understand the the love for it. Nirvana, Candyland, nice, that's that's a solid one. Uh, Double Tap, Going Quantum and Have, that one's going to be there for sure, uh, even though I, yeah, I disagree with that a little bit. Uh, Dead March, solid, Sullivan King and Ray Volpe. Uh, too Hard to Let Go, Hello World. Wow, I personally like Pretend much better, but I can see this one making it for sure. Uh, Hello World's got a lot of support, I think, this year. Uh, and, and it really had a breakout re-air, I, th- I would say. Uh, Industrial Strain, Coven, yep, yeah, solid one. Uh, I, yeah, <laughs> solid one. Uh, Shadow Blade by Caster, great one too. I actually want to go back to Coven. I'm, I'm happy that, I'm happy this made the list, that it wasn't just this, um, because the, they got, they got kind of crapped on earlier this year with their, with that mobile one, thing and so I'm happy that they just didn't get absolutely boycotted. This song is great and it deserves to be higher here. So I'm I'm happy people aren't they did they didn't get canceled. COVID didn't get canceled. So COVID had a good year. Uh but yeah Shadowblade Caster, great, great song. Not for me normally, but uh, Just Dance Back Computer is solid as well. Big fan of Just Dance. I voted for that one as well. Uh and let's see what else we got here. Fly back computer back to back. Okay. Fly. I would say just dance is better than fly, but okay. Uh, as we are in the top 10 here, let's see number eight is yesterday no mana. Okay. Okay, are we gonna get three, three for three? No mana this year. Let's. I, I think so. I think so. Also, I, n- I never made the prediction off the top. Dead Man Walking's got to be number one, right? There's, there's no way Dead Man Walking's not number one. I would say No Mana's number two. I would have said Boss Fight three. Honestly, maybe I would say Boss Fight three is great. Would be my guess. I would say, I would say Boss Fight No Mana. Uh, Grant and Ellis are, are your three, two, one. Personally, uh, Galactical Tokyo Machine. That one I got a lot of love for being released so uh, recent. There's there's a few decent, re- decently recent tracks in here. I would say, uh, Warp uh, is number six. Okay, the Base House track. I think that was the Base House one. Uh, solid as well. A Cookie from Space hitting top five infected mushrooms here with Bliss. Um, for sure. Let's see four. I don't even know what the vote would be here. Let's see. Ding Dong by Crank Dat made it? Is, wait, I thought, wait, this song, I this song's not great in my mind. Is this a meme? Or is this, did people, do people genuinely really, really like this? Uh, okay, I, okay. Moving on, number three. Grit boss fight. Did I get the, the top three perfectly right? Grit boss fight number two. Oh, Umbra. I forgot about Umbra. Ace Aura and Vocitions, which means Dead Man Walking is 100% number one. Yeah, Grant and Ellis. Um, yeah, that's I. Ding dong, really? Like, is this. Is it. Is it. A, is it a joke? Like, is it kind of like funny? Like, fun? Ding dong. Haha. Funny. I'm I'm genuinely shocked Ding Dong's up here. I like it's a funny meme, but like I didn't I didn't think it was a great track at all. Like I thought this was one of Crank Dad's weaker tracks to date. Okay. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. So the best of uh Silk was Cloud uh or yeah, Nimbus, Wonder Years, Try Meme, and then I Love You and Searchlight were the ones that didn't technically make the um the top 40 but would have been the top five for silk okay you know in the end i think this is and i don't want to be too brash uh i would say this is probably monster cat's weakest year yet uh because obviously at the beginning years you're kind of you're you're getting you're getting up you're trying to make the label but uh since it's been like really kind of flesh out and formed i would say this is probably their weakest year i just felt like there wasn't a ton of Oomph, I don't know. This felt like a weird year for me. Um, I honestly probably track it by how many 10 out of 10 individual songs I get. And I'm pretty picky with my 10s. And I only gave one this year. I only gave one and that was Dead Man Walking, uh, where other years I've given a lot. Like on average, I think I give about uh, like 10 to 20 a year and I only gave one this year. And so I don't know. It was just interesting, interesting year for me personally with Monster Cap. But in the end, that was, uh, <laughs> that was I guess, my little opinions and uh, the best of 2022. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Did you think there was anything that shocked you in one way or another? But uh, I'd love to know in those comment sections below. But other than that, I've been Bowtie Media and I'll see you guys in another video.